to track or not to track your fitness progress. Hi, I'm Amanda, the body coach. I've been a fitness professional for 20 years and I'm here to bring you some extreme facts and knowledge to ponder on within your health and fitness journey. So is it a dire need to track your health, fitness and nutrition along your health and fitness journey? Yes and no. There's upsides and downsides to tracking your fitness progress. So being subscribed to multiple different health and fitness and nutrition apps has left me in a dire need to unsubscribe and to explore different avenues or different applications to find a more efficient, effective, and simple way to track my progress. One of the key components in myself tracking my fitness and my nutrition is to seek a very easy and effective and simplistic way for my clients also so they can gather their information input their information, track their progress, and it simply be a one-stop shop. Life is busy for everyone, so discovering what best works for you is key, hands down. Also, discovering an app if you are going to use either wearable technology or an app within your smartphone, it's really important that you enjoy the process of tracking your progress and that it works within your lifestyle. So being a fitness coach for 20 years, I have used pen and paper, fitness journals, PDF formats, visual aids, and many, many different fitness applications for myself and for my clients. And what works best? What suits the client? I'm not going to give you 10 top fitness applications to use. I'm going to tell you in a very simplistic way, it's what best works for you. Remember, it's different strokes for different folks. So some people will really like a kinesthetic aspect of a fitness application or a visual aid. Some people will like that nitty gritty pen and piece of paper in a fitness journal and track their progress that way. Myself, I jump from pen and a fitness journal to fitness apps. But the key factor in this, and I think it's really important that you cannot progress within your health and fitness journey if you are not looking at past backlog. I can't progressive overload or change my training phase if I don't know personally what I did in my last training phase. So that's why it's really vital to track your fitness routines and your training phases. In my opinion, the key component of progression is tracking. And it doesn't matter what training method or where you are within your fitness journey, you have to look at what you've done in the past to shift forward present state and within your future goals. Whether you're doing your health and fitness journey on your own, sharing it with a friend, or you have a support mechanism, example, a fitness coach, track your progress. You have to look backwards to see what you're doing presently and forwards. Hard to keep yourself accountable if you are not tracking your progress, in opinion. So track your progress.